Yo people, Anthony Joshua vs Kubrat Pulev has been officially announced. It's taking place December 12th at the Oto Arena. It's been rumoured for, say, a good month to take place at the Oto Arena. And we've known December 12th was sort of the pencil in date for a, a good while now. But obviously, it's finally been officially announced, which is good. They're hoping to have fans in attendance at O2, um, which would be good. It'd be good for the sport, it'd be good for all sport, really. Because, you know, the Premier League, the football, still no fans in attendance at those games, so it would be good to have some fans at the boxing. Obviously, the main storyline is that it's Anthony Joshua's first fight back in the UK um, since he fought Alexander Povetkin in September 2018, which, you know, is nearly two years ago now. Because, obviously, he fought Ruiz, well, what was originally meant to be Jerome Miller, in June 2019 at MSG in New York and then obviously lost to Ruiz who was the opponent to replace Jerome Miller after Miller popped for PEDs and then the rematch with Ruiz took place in Saudi, Saudi Arabia and now he's finally coming home. Anthony Joshua has got a lot of questions to answer in this fight against Kubrat Pulev. There's going to be a lot of people questioning whether his chin's the same, whether or not he's going to keep the same style that he fought with against Ruiz, or if he's going to revert back to how he was fighting uh, in the first Ruiz fight, or before the first Ruiz fight, when he was um, a bit more aggressive than he was against Ruiz in the rematch. Now, if Joshua chooses to retain that same style that he used against Ruiz in the rematch. I don't think that'd be a good idea against Kubrat Pulev because Pulev is an opponent that he has that traditional sort of Eastern European amateur boxing style where he's very he's very good at you know jabbing and grabbing. He's really very good at scoring points. Let's say that uh for lack of a better term. So I think Joshua would be better off reverting back to his older style, the, the same kind of style used against Klitschko, against Povetkin, against Takam. Just be a bit more aggressive and go for the knockout because I think it will be difficult to outpoint Kubrat Pulev over 12 rounds. But whether he changes his style back to how he used to fight against the likes of Klitschko or not is dead to be seen, you know? It, you can only. You can only wait and see when the fight actually happens how he's going to fight, but I assume he's going to come with a more aggressive approach. AJ will definitely be watching the Klitschko fight, studying that fight, the klitschko Pula fight in Germany. And um, because obviously Klitschko knocked Pulev out in the fifth round, knocked him down, I think he knocked him down like three times in the first round, knocked him down in the third, knocked him down in the fifth, well, knocked him out in the fifth with multiple left hooks so I think Joshua will kind of use that as a blueprint because once a fight has been beat similar to Joshua Pulev will I mean he probably won't use Ruiz's blueprint because Pulev and Ruiz are very different fighters but once a fight has been beat the blueprint is there of how to beat them again so I think Joshua being similar in size to Klitschko will use Klitschko's blueprint to defeat Pulev essentially on the other hand Kubrat Pulev probably sees a lot of weaknesses in Anthony Joshua's style after obviously witnessing Joshua being knocked out by Andy Ruiz. He probably looks at Joshua and thinks Joshua's got a weak chin, a chin that can be tested by Pulev's power shots, but then again, Anthony Joshua will probably be thinking the same thing about Pulev, considering Pulev got destroyed by Klitschko, I mean, got demolished in a similar way to how Joshua got destroyed by Ruiz. One thing about this fight, I wouldn't be so quick to write Pulev off. I wouldn't be so quick to write Pulev off. I mean, I'd be surprised if he won. I think Anthony Joshua is a clear favourite. I think styles make fights. Anthony Joshua's style, I think, could exploit Pulev's weaknesses. But you can't write Pulev off. I mean, there's going to be two fighters in the ring on December 12th at the O2 who are hungry. Anthony Joshua's hungry to prove that that was wrong, to prove that he's not got a glass chin, glass chin, to prove that he can defend his title successfully, and to show people that 
he is on the same level as Tyson Fury because a lot of people are putting Tyson Fury above Joshua and Joshua probably knows that and he wants to prove the doubters wrong and then Kubrat Pulev this is his second world title shot and he won't want to mess it up the second time he'll want to make this a successful title shot and become the new heavyweight champion, champion of the world you know the more I think about this fight the more I think Pulev does have a very good chance of beating Joshua. This could be a banana skin for Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua needs to stay focused. He needs to focus on this fight, not worry about what Tyson Fury is doing. Because I think Pulev's going to bring it. And Anthony Joshua needs to be ready for that. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the fight. Recently announced yesterday. Um, I'll do a prediction video closer to the date of the fight. It'd be interesting to see what kind of um, media, what kind of um, marketing they do for this fight. I mean, if there's fans in attendance, I'm assuming that at that point they'll be able to do normal press conferences, normal weigh-ins. But then again, you never know with this global situation. Let's just call it that. This global situation that's going on, you never know what's going to happen. Will there be fans at attendance? Will there not be? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who wins this fight? AJ Pulev? Does AJ destroy Pulev? Does Pulev test Joshua's chin? Etc. Etc. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to see more content. Turn on the post notifications. 